And lastly, we head to the Rideau Rockcliffe Community Resource Center. They offer so many things for their community, a lot of it around food security. Well, we find out how they use a greenhouse, how many people are volunteering to help in the community, and of course, to help those that are most vulnerable. So Rideau Rockcliffe Community Resource Centre has been around since 1982 and it's here to serve residents um, of Ward 13. Um, so our focus is on um, helping to reduce uh, poverty in this community as well as empowering uh, residents to find uh, resilience within themselves. Um, so one of the, the new focuses of our centre is around food programming. Um, so you'll notice today when we, when we go around on a little tour um, that we have a number of, a number of food programs here at the centre. So one being obviously our emergency uh, food program, um, which is really great. So residents can come and um, access food when they are in need. We also have a number of food-based social enterprises uh, here at Rideau Rockcliffe as well. Um, so one being uh, the Ottawa Good Food Box, um, another being Market Mobile. One of our new initiatives that started this year as response to COVID is called Good Food on the Move. And it's a click and collect um, online store and we have seven pickup locations uh, throughout the city. Um, more sort of local here uh, for Ward 13 residents, we've also started um, a free produce market as well. So community members can come on Wednesdays and Fridays and be able to access additional free fruits and vegetables. The, um, the emergency food bank um, has been in existence since, since the beginning of the centre as well. Um, so with that, with that um, program, it's um, people coming to the centre who are, who are in need of food and typically it's enough food um, for around Four to five days is typically what we're giving out. Our, our food bank is moving more toward it's a food center model, um, which is focused more on, on fresh food as well. So, you know, oftentimes people think of, you know, going to the food bank and you're given cans of food. We're really trying to um, flip that over a little bit and really focused on, on fresh foods, um, foods that are... Um, uh, in the preference of people that are maybe new Canadians as well that might not necessarily know what like a can of um, pork and beans <laughs> would look like. So really trying to focus on more ethnically diverse um, fruits and vegetables uh, as well as, as meats, halal meats and that sort of thing too. Social Harvest Ottawa is one of the social enterprises here at the Rideau Rockcliffe Community Resource Centre. We operate this great urban greenhouse and our work is not only to grow nutritious and delicious food, but also to nourish communities with community members um, here in Ward 13 and beyond. The greenhouse is a year-round project. Uh, we're a team of four employees working here. Uh, we have two full-time employees and two part-time employees. We focus on growing microgreens from uh, late fall to early spring and hot house, hot house crops uh, in the summertime, such as uh, tomatoes and cucumbers. The Mission Food Truck has now, we're in our fifth week of uh, collaborating with them to come visit our center. Um, so again, it was the power of social media. So I, I live in this area actually, and was just looking through a you know a local Facebook group, and I was like, what is this Ottawa Mission food truck all about? So we have a, a lovely um, student who's interning with us right now, and so I just said to her, you know what, Michelle, can you do some research, find out what this is about, see if they can come to our center, and we just got in on it at the right time. They were looking for new communities to branch out to. They said absolutely. Right now, they're funded through donations, and I believe that the actual physical food truck um, is uh, donated or borrowed from a, a company called or a restaurant called Pelican. I believe it's a pretty high end. Pelican Seafood and Grill. Yeah. So, so they have loaned this truck uh, to the mission. They travel around Ottawa um, and and just give out delicious, fresh, hot food. Um, to people as well. We have at our centre the Ottawa Good Food Box um, as well as the Market Mobile. So Ottawa Good Food Box has been around for 25 years um, and Market Mobile is a little younger, started in 2014. So they're both have the mission and the mandate of making fresh food more accessible um, and affordable in neighbourhoods that lack access to, an, to a grocery store. So I think the, the greatest need that we've seen as a result of the pandemic in our um, community is, is people that we maybe have never needed to access our services um, before. For, right, so a lot of people have had, um, you know, layoffs. Um, you know, maybe they're just not able to work because they have to stay home with their with their children. You know, over the summer, that sort of thing. So we we've definitely seen um, the need uh, go out, particularly for our, our food programming, as well as some of our counseling um, services as well. So it's you know it's it's a heavy time for people emotionally, and so just being able to have those resources to be able to you know talk it out with a counselor, um, figuring out if there's resources um, needed as well. We're not everywhere. As I mentioned, we have seven pickup locations. There's a number of communities which I know could really benefit 
uh, from having this service. So having them reach out um, to us through um, our website. So right now, the Good Food on the Move website is floated on top of the MarketMobile website. So it's marketmobileottawa.com. So they can always contact us uh, there as well and let us know, you know, like there's a, there's a really big need in this community. How can I coordinate with you to have the service um, come to my community? Well, that does it for this week's episode of Operation Support Local. Again, a reminder, I know I say it each and every time, but if you're looking for that perfect gift over the holidays for a friend or a family member, make sure you look local first. And in support of our restaurant industry, why not a gift card? Thanks again for watching and remember, stay safe, stay healthy, Ottawa. Thank you.